Coin Talks, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. USC staff and their fans have heard all week long their quarterback's going to play terribly on the road. I think their staff's got them ready to prove them wrong right now. I, I think this staff really has rallied this entire team around some of that negative talk. And I think they believe in their guy that he can go on the road and make the plays and lead them to a big victory. I, you know, sometimes when you hit some adversity like that, you see teams circle the wagons. And I, and I really believe this week they've done a great job of doing that. Now they just have to go out and execute the plan and go out and win this game. Second and eight. Ball on the 27-yard line. Tackle made around the 38-yard line. If you can consistently run effectively like this, it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run, and that creates chances in the play-action passing game. the stop at the 33 yard line that's not what you hope for from your running game you're looking for some solid north and south progress you never want to give the defense a play like that to build their confidence it's second down now and 14 to go ball on the 33 yard line trying to get it to the tight end but it falls to the ground Slings it. Brought down at the 47-yard line. It's going to be fourth and inches after that long pickup on third down. Well, what a throw by the quarterback. Almost equally excellent catch by the receiver, but the defense topped them both by coming up with a stop. And down he goes at the 48. They drew up a direct snap to the up back, and it got him a huge first down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 48. He makes his way to about the 42. And this is the eighth play of the drive. They try to run up the middle, but met in the backfield. the 44-yard line. Second down. Wants to throw outside. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. That could have been a big play for the defense. Yeah, even though he had a good shot at picking it off, it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass. Tenth play of the drive. When you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. This punt, if he gets it where he wants, it can really change the field position of this football game. Booming kick. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Give to the running back, and he's going to lose yardage. From their own 18-yard line, it's second down. He's got an 
opening. Heading for the corner. Gets out to around the 38. You like to see a team having success like this running the football. It can really open up things for the offense. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 37. He makes it to the 35-yard line. A yard, maybe two on the carry. That makes it second and eight. Scrambling around. Heading for the corner. He's at the 20. He's knocked out of bounds at the 17. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 17-yard line. Five wide. Over the middle, got it, touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. So a six-play, 80-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Well, the blocking up front was just amazing. I think that's what led them to those big runs. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Ducks are right where they want to be early in this one, Parker. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. From their own 25-yard line, second down. He's taken down at the 33. Quick throw, and he's tackled right around the 38-yard line. First and 10, ball on their own 38. Complete, it's the junior, and down he goes at the 48-yard line. From the 48-yard line, it's first down. Tackle around the 47-yard line. He 
he's tackled right around midfield. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 38. Under pressure, Rose, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. Sometimes it's not the huge distance, but precision that you need from your punter. Nicely done. Brad, let's see if this offense can maintain the rhythm that they established on that last drive. Not just putting points on the board, but driving the length of the field to be able to eventually put points up. I think that's going to be important for them to try to keep that confidence going here on this drive. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. Oregon is up seven. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Irving gained seven yards on that play. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. On the ground, left side. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. Some guys are dangerous no matter where they are on the field. Whether they have speed, elusiveness, great vision, whatever the case may be, you have to find ways to get the ball in their hands. Up the middle for a nice game. Second down and six. Ball on the 38-yard line. Give to the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. So they end up with a loss after calling the draw. He started out rushing the passer, and then just got lucky and ran right into the running back on the draw. Gets hit out of bounds. Right around the 44-yard line. James is the putter. And this one is a beauty. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. Oregon's got a great defensive game plan, and it's working right now. Well, even from up here, Brad, you can see their defensive speed, and they're just playing with kind of an aggressive attitude. They're going to have to maintain that to slow down this offense. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Fires out to his wideout. They'll bring him down around the 26-yard line. They're about four yards away here on second down. Here we go. Jones gets the call. And he's taken down at about the 29-yard line. the gut. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 37-yard line. From their own 37-yard line. First down. He wants it all going long. And he stays in bounds and he holds in a big one.
So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. He's on the run, tries to get around the corner. There he goes. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. That makes a first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Touchdown. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he converts the extra point. to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. Throws complete, and he stopped immediately. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Here's the halfback, and he hits him hard at the 32. So at the end of one quarter, we get a tie game at 7-7. Welcome back to the action. Just about set to start quarter number two, and we're all tied up. Caught a big hit there to stop it. James is waiting for the snap. Tackle made at the 35. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. Knocked out of bounds around the 44-yard line. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. And they make the stop around the 43-yard line. Breaks one. He makes his way to about the 48. It's first and ten. Ball on the 48. Slings it out and it gets tipped. Great reaction to get his hands in the way of that pass. That's not an easy play to make. made around the 40-yard line. That'll bring up third and two. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Going 
Goes right, picked off. Good job to pick that ball off. He did a great job at getting in that passing lane and coming away with the ball. From the 40-yard line, first down. He wants it all. It's going the other way. He seemed a little hesitant on that throw, and that left the defender time to break on the ball and pick it off. yard line. It's first down. He's scrambling. Quarterback's going to run it and he's got room to work. The ball pops free. Inside the 30 to the 20. The 10. So the offense turns over the pigskin. The ball carrier here was just careless in handling the ball. And a great awareness by the defense to jump on it. Now here comes the offense. And you've got to wonder if that last interception's weighing on the quarterback's mind at all. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. Touchdown, Oregon! He makes the PAT. Lewis looks ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. Across the 30. And he's taken down at the 42-yard line. Williams has played quarterback. Kirk has been about what we expected. He's been very impressive here in the first half, but I think the defense knew that. You know, he's going to get his. Nobody else is getting it. You've you got to give this defense a lot of credit with their approach. I mean, they've really limited the big plays that we knew this quarterback and this offense was capable of, and it's given them a lead. We'll see in the second half if the defense continue to slow this offense down, but, you know, when you look at the quarterback, he's making plays, he's putting up some yards, just not putting up enough points. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on their own 45. Brought down right around the 42-yard line. That's a gain of 13 on the play. First down. Makes the grab and steps out right away. From the 30-yard line, first down. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. It's the tailback. Nice run there. Gain of six on the draw play. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Scrambling around. 
Dives forward. What is going on with his defense? I mean, don't get me wrong. The offense is doing a nice job with first downs, and they're executing well. But the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive. Attack. Do some things to change it up. Take some risks. Nice run, and he's brought down. Four yards gained on that quarterback draw. This is the eighth play of this drive. Another run. And he tackles him hard at the 14. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. So we're looking at another third down here. They get nice yardage on that run. Kicks away, and it's through the uprights. and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Oregon is up four. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And they push him out at the 35-yard line. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. He's taken down at the 48-yard line. From the 48-yard line, first down. Here's a run, and he's tackled at the 47. gets out to about the 37-yard line. From the 37-yard line, it's first down, five wide. Throws it out at all. He's hit hard for a loss. That's a two-yard loss. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 39. Oregon holds a four-point lead. Throws it in a hurry. To the 10. And a huge touchdown play. White out here truly knows what he has to do to contribute to make his team successful. And he adds the extra point. A six-play, 75-yard drive, and they put up seven points. So the score now, 21-10.
Lewis has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. They hand it off. They go to the left for a nice game. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. And a quick throw. And down he goes at the 36-yard line. They get about four yards on the pass, and they'll pick up the first down. I think they were expecting a run on that play, Brad, and it allowed the quarterback to throw for just enough yards to get the first down. He's tackled around the 46-yard line. USC will take their first time out of the half, and there's two minutes remaining in the half. Now he tries to buy some time. Tackle around the 39-yard line. A good quarterback knows when and how to improvise, and if he's got the skills, he can also turn a scramble into something big. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. He scrambled. Runs with it, and he's got room. What a play, and that'll set up a first and goal. The offensive coordinator has to be elated with the way his offense right now is executing. They're not in a hurry, but they're very, very methodical and very consistent with their approach. That's the third first down that they've picked up on this drive. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. Second down, goal to go. Nine yards to the goal line. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. Here's the eighth play of the series. He's got to throw it in a hurry. Pass is tipped away. Nice play by the defense to bring up fourth down. Yeah, instead of going for the interception, they did the safe thing, and that was just to tip it away. This isn't much more than an extra point, and they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. Kicks up, and he got it. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 28. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Oregon holds an eight-point advantage. He's on the run. He's to the 40. They'll bring him down at the 45. This is a pretty tough guy, and he's a great leader. He's going to do whatever it takes to help his team. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 45-yard line. Irving on the handoff. Oregon's going to have to use their second time out of the half. The back gets three on the carry. You have to like how this linebacker was able to move up quickly and bring down the ball carrier for a short game. Nice stop by the junior. Quick throw, incomplete, one his receiver. Number 
throws, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. Don't think the other receivers didn't see that hit. They'll be thinking about this guy when they're running their routes, too. James awaits the snap. Here's the punt. No, they're going to throw it. This one is batted away. The offense couldn't convert, and that's going to cost him the possession. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was inbounds or not. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was inbounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. After review the play, the ruling on the field stands. So the call on the field stands. First and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. Now he's scrambling. Tackle made at the 27. Catches it, gets out of bounds. First and 10. Ball on the 20 yard line. The kick is up, and it splits the uprights. We played a half of football here. The Ducks lead is five. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Both quarterbacks remaining upright and healthy. In fact, they haven't been breathed on in the first half. Neither team has allowed a sack, and it really speaks well for the relationship that the quarterback has and the feel that he has for his offensive line. No, absolutely, and we always talk about those guys and going out to eat. Well, let me tell you something. They're earning a big, fat steak dinner, and those fat guys get the porterhouses, too. They're not a cheap date. Those guys, they're earning it right now, keeping me up and right, keeping the keeping the quarterback upright, keeping him clean, you know, not letting anybody hit him. You've seen, you've seen great Hall of Fame quarterbacks turn average when they get popped and when they get hit and when they get, you know, beat around a little bit. These guys, they haven't even been touched. So you can, you can uh, go ahead and say check, please, right over here because that QB better be taken care of. And the quarterback's calling home, Mom, Dad, please send money. That's going to do it at halftime. Just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, bro. I'm going to get something in the cafeteria. I'm hungry. Wait, 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 don't leave until you get my order. Brad, Kirk, take the second half. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They're ready to begin another drive. They come out on an empty backfield. He's scrambling. And they make the stop at the 33. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. And he throws it away. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. it out and it's intercepted 
Really nice cover skill shown here this time. That's exactly what you want to see from your young corners. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 30-yard line. He laterals the ball. Got an opening. Brought down around the 33-yard line. Jones gets the speed option and takes it for about a three-yard gain. it to the outside and he's taken down at the 47 yard line it's first and ten ball on their own 47 knocked out of bounds around the 47 yard line the middle for a nice game. That's good for a game four yards. That'll bring up third and six. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 43. It's broken up. These guys were ready for the pass and played it well to come up with the deflection. Hudson is back deep to return the play. Oh, excellent punt. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You know the offense will be looking to do better this time out. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. Makes it out to about the 29. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. They come out in a five-wide set. Fires that quickly, incomplete. Good showing on all three downs by the defense. That should fire them up. That makes it so James to punt. He makes it to the 38-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He's taken down right around the 48-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. And he's tackled around the 49-yard line. Get him in the backfield for a loss. Nowhere to go for the halfback. That's a loss of one. Third 
third down now, and they need to get it down to the 38s. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. He heaves it deep. Throws it and is caught for the touchdown. Excellent play here by the quarterback, making the proper reads and finding his playmaker for the score. The coverage just couldn't keep up with him there. So they'll go for two here and try to go up by a field goal. USC up a point. And it's caught for two. They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. Williams's consistency throughout this game really cementing his star status right now. Kirk, this is what we expected of him, and through three quarters, he's produced. Well, we knew coming into this game, as you said, he's one of the top quarterbacks in the country. And how can you not be impressed by what we've seen up to this point? I mean, he's making good decisions with the football, getting his teammates involved in the offense, but most importantly, he's not putting his team in any kind of bad situations. He just seems to be managing the game and not letting this game manage him. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. He makes it to the 35-yard line. Nice catch, first down, and he's knocked out. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. Gets to about the 47-yard line. That's good for the two yards. That makes it second and eight. Here's a handoff, left side. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Scrambling around. Brought down in the open field. Get nice yardage on that run. That makes it second and six. And this is the eighth play of the drive. And he hits him hard at the 28 yard line. Third down again. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. First down grab by the receiver. And down he goes at about the 11. First and ten. Ball on the 11-yard line. And
and he throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Ferguson off the left side, and they'll get him in the backfield. And this is the 12th play of the drive. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Why in the world would the offense run a route short for the first down? That just baffles me every time I see that. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. Oregon is looking to tie things up. Kicks away, and it's through the uprights. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. Tackle made at the 21. Both teams have really answered the bell here in the third quarter, Kirk. Well, exciting to see what these offenses have been able to do here, be able to come out and score in your first drive. Tells you a lot about what they did during the half. Quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. Here's a run up the gut, but nothing going there. It's second and ten. Ball on the 21-yard line. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. around the 34-yard line. From their own 34-yard line, it's first down. He's on the run. He's tackled around the 35-yard line. Go back to him on a quick throw. Tackle at about the 45. From their own 45-yard line, first down. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. That makes it first and 10. it out. Tackle made right around the 18-yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. The lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. 
You got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. First and 15 now after the penalty. Now he pitches it. Nice run there as they work the outside. Seven yards there on the option pitch to the halfback. So with one quarter remaining, good game, 24-24. Well, we're all tied up now as we head to the all-important fourth quarter. And that sets them up with a first and goal. First and goal as they look to take the lead. Drill at the two-yard line. Here's the 11th play of the drive. Touchdown, Trojans. for the score. Yep, he punched that in from a short distance. He had great blocking up front on that play. He makes the PAT. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. A little misdirection. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. I'd look for this offense to go back to some more straightforward between the tackles running. They want to win this thing in the trenches. It's second down now, 13 to go. Ball on their own 22. And they make the stop around the 23-yard line. Quick throw, brought down at about the 33-yard line. James awaits the snap. He really got a hold of that one. He's out to the 30. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 35. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. USC is up by a touchdown. That close to being intercepted. From their own 35-yard line, second down. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Let's see if the momentum from that defensive stand carries over to their offense. Hudson is back deep to return. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. 
He showed a good burst there. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. And he gets a yard on the run. You're not going to be able to get by a short tackler like this linebacker too often. Second and nine. Ball on their own 34. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. hit and taken down. Wow, that was close. I think the officials marked the spot correctly, and it gives them the first by an eyelash. From their own 44-yard line, first down. Quick strike to the receiver, and he's taken down at the 44. the middle. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Needed that play, and he dropped it. They go to the ground and he stops short. Good solid defense there to force him into a fourth down situation. It's fourth down and they're going to try to go for it. He's under pressure. And he's tackled at the 21 yard line. This is the ninth play of this drive. He gets hit out of bounds at the 19. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 19-yard line. complete and he stopped immediately. It's the 11th play of the drive. Nice run and he's brought down. Well, this is it. They've got all four downs to get in the end zone. He's going to try and scramble. Decides to slide. The quarterback picks up around six yards on the scramble. This is the 13th play of this drive. You definitely want the football in his hands near the end zone, and he showed you why right there. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he converts the extra point. Lewis ready to kick. 
and he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, I'm sure the return man would have loved to go for six that time. At the very least, they've got to get in the field goal range. Once they've done that, they can think about taking a few shots into the end zone. Up the middle for a nice game. That's good for a game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Let's go. Now he's scrambling. They bring him down. You know, Brad, that time the defense brought the blitz, and I think it confused the offensive line. It's one thing to pick up the blitz, but you also have to be accountable for the defensive lineman, and that time the lineman got to the quarterback and came up with a sack. Just under three to go in regulation. Got it. Complete, and he's out of bounds. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 42. He's taken down at the 50. That's a game on the play. That brings up second and one. Coming to you, coming to you. Mike Ford. He scrambles. And down he goes at the 47 yard line. That makes it first and 10. From the 47 yard line, it's first down. Runs it and tackled in the backfield. Now he tries to buy some time, and he's sacked. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. He just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. Here's the eighth play of the series. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Just a tremendous job by that defense, and their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ball game. And now the offense has got a chance to win it. In a perfect world, he knocks this kick down inside the 10. And this one is a beauty. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Here we are late in the fourth quarter, and this is what this game has come down to. Every possession is going to count, and this could be the one right here. Just over a minute left. And he tackles him hard at the 34. From their own 34-yard line, first down. Zips it to the back. And they'll get him in the backfield. Scrambling around. They'll bring him down around the 36-yard line.
he's scrambling. Just a tremendous play there late in the fourth quarter in a tie football game. And now it all comes down to the final seconds or overtime. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. He fields the punt at the 13. And down he goes at the 22. And that's the end of the fourth quarter. And we're going to take this deadlock into overtime. Back to the action here, and we get ready for overtime. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's tackled at the 17. So it's second down and about two yards to go. And they hit him in the backfield. the 14. Wonderful play call to convert on third down. I'll tell you what, he really wanted that first down. Good determination again. First and 10. Ball on the 14-yard line. He goes out of bounds. Right around the 8-yard line. And he makes it out to about the eight-yard line. They're about four yards away here on third down. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. the PAT. From the 25-yard line, first down. Tackle made at the 22-yard line. run there so he picked up a few on that run yeah he did a nice job of using his blockers on that run really a nice read it's first and ten ball on the 15 he's on the run he'll take it himself nice play to set up first and goal to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. We've got second and goal. Ten yards to the end zone. Fires it out. Touchdown, Ducks. So they come up with the equalizer. This offense did just what they had to do. 
They knew they needed six points, and they got it. That was just a great series. We'll be tied with the extra point. And he adds the extra point. We've got a dandy here, folks. We're heading to overtime number two. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. to the 15. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. This one's going deep to the end zone. And he's got it for the touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. First and ten, ball on the 25. The defense had a chance here, Brad, to just end the drive. An interception there. They get the football back and a lot of momentum. And they get nice yardage on that run. From the 21-yard line, third down. down at about the 13. And they make the stop at the four-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. The extra point to tie this game up. And he tacks on the extra point. Just like we talked about earlier, now that we're going to a third overtime, the offense must go for two if they score a touchdown. From the 25 yard line, it's first down. He's tackled after positive yardage. That'll make it second and four. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. From the 13 yard line. First down. Quick strike to the receiver. And he's taken down around the one-yard line. They 
They bring him down in the backfield. It's second and goal. Three yards for the touchdown. Room around the corner. Touchdown, Southern Cal. So the offense comes up big and gets six points here in triple overtime. And unless they want to leave this in the hands of their defense, they better come up big here again because they have to go for the two-point conversion. And they're looking to get two points here. USC is up by six. Here they come. And he's in for two. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. He's going to try and scramble. And he's tackled at the 20-yard line. From the 20-yard line, it's third down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. It's picked off, and that's the game. performance today, Kirk. It was just fun for you and I to be part of it, really. Yeah, really just a campus legend. A guy that went out there and, and showed why he's one of the most dominant players in the country, and he did not disappoint anybody, including his teammates today. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.